Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, looking at this Wall Street talk. Yeah. <laughs> the emerging markets, the countries notable on China, India, Brazil, and Russia. Yes. You know, and then there's the ETFs and the FICO scores, the 300 to the 850. Oh. <laughs> you know, this art magazine really goes into some significant definition of <laughs> how they talk on Wall Street. Ouch. Then there's a fiduciary. Mm -hmm. Now, caution. Okay. Fiduciaries are, lock, uh, are like hotties on a dating app. Mm -hmm. Not everyone who tries to look like one actually is. <laughs> I know you're sitting there. You're working in the Federal Reserve Bank of each and every district, and you're looking at your own portfolio saying, I need to re-asset allocate my portfolio because of the market going down. And I'm thinking, no, you don't. It's going to go up again. <laughs> now, it's like one of these apps, yeah, a hottie on a, on a dating app. Yes. Now, what I always liked was the junk bonds, mm -hmm. the ones that, that yield a lot more than the AAA rated or the investment grade bonds. <laughs> you know, those bonds of companies that are going to fail and you get paid like 15 or 20 percent. <laughs> you know, I was... I was big into <laughs> my clients investing in high yield mutual funds that were high yield junk bonds. Yes. <laughs> they thought I was stupid. A lot of them did. Especially in a tax deferred account, you're getting paid like 11, 12 percent. Yes. Buying additional shares of the same mutual fund. And <laughs> of course, the principal amount went down, but if you held it long enough, the interest would make up the difference. Yes. Why don't we just look at the high yield marketplace and all of those that said, well, the market went down a few thousand points. It's not a big deal. <laughs> but did it affect their actual credit rating? Now, when you really think about the credit rating of the various corporations, could you could you get me all those high yield bonds? <laughs> now, a lot of corporations said, well, this is just a minor market burp. <laughs> We had too much pressure on the upside. Some people took money off the table before the end of the year. Yes. And then the rest of them said, well, I sold my losers so I could get a tax loss. <laughs> you sell your winners to offset your losers so that you have all that available capital without any tax liability. <laughs> you know how these financial advisors are that are fiduciaries of the actual assets of their clients. <laughs> now, for my thought, I thought, well... What if you got paid a certain amount of interest, let's say it was 10% a year, yeah, and you just kept reinvesting all of that interest in a tax-deferred account and buying additional shares for approximately 20 years. <laughs> the shares go down in value and it buys more shares, and then the market goes up, and then the shares go up in value. <laughs> it sounds like a really stupid idea, this whole investing or reinvesting of the interest. <laughs> 